Hi everybody, so um, today we're talking about uh, self-esteem and uh, we're doing a project that um, includes um, what they call hot glue gun uh, stencils. And so it's kind of a little difficult to see, but um, what, we're, what I'm gonna show you is the, um, how to do the stencil first and then I'm going to do a project with the stencils um, doing using a, um, a jelly plate right here. Okay, so what the, what the, um, the lesson has is the idea, um, we're going to have some worksheets and things that you can work out beforehand before you get started in your art project. But, um, so the idea is, is that we're creating um, some artwork and working and exploring with words that the first, the first words that you're going to be identifying are the words that describe you today. And for myself, what I used was uh, creative, optimistic, insightful, confident, and compassionate. And so these are words that, uh, that I find to be pretty um, easy to identify. Uh, they're um, things that I, I pretty much practice every day. So creative, um, I'm an artist and so creative, uh, I uh, do, um, I work in all type of arts, but then I'm creative in the kitchen. I'm creative out in my yard and doing gardening. Um, I am pretty much creative all day long. So um, that's, I would be, um, it's easy to describe myself as that. Optimistic, um, again, that's probably, uh, it, it is a word that would describe me almost every, every moment. Um, it, it's really, it takes a lot to kind of uh, get me to be, um, you know, where I'm looking at something in the bad side. I'm, I'm pretty good at looking at things. The glass is pretty much always full on my side, <laughs> in my brain. Um, insightful, um, this kind of describes the fact that uh, I can do, it's even like the idea of doing life skills, an artful life skills class is insightful, is the idea that I can, um, I can look at these particular topics and speak of them, um, and I can, and I can kind of put myself in other people's shoes. I've pretty much have been there, and um, some of these, uh, some of these uh, art projects are ways that you can uh, explore it in a safe way um, and get through it, whatever it is. And, but today's topic is self-image. So, and we'll be working on lots of other things. And then confident, hey, um, I'm talking to you today. So uh, I'm not sure how well I'm doing, but I'm inside, I'm very confident. And compassionate is uh, the idea that I'm doing the life skills class, um, the artful life skills classes. Um, I feel compassionate about um, other people's um, you know, these are topics that are hard to learn in any other way and then the idea that we have to learn them all the hard way um, because they aren't taught necessarily in school and you may not be getting it at home. Um, okay, so then my um, tomorrow words for myself, again, you're going to come up with your own words, was athletic, which I'm working on that uh, and uh, that's always something that I'm, uh, I have been working on. Uh, balance, that is a, a thing that I, as a self-employed individual, um, and uh, I just always have to work on balance between um, family, between, um, you know, household things, and then art and things like that. And then forgiving, um, it's something that uh, I am forgiving, but I it's a um, it's a thing that I um, I I think about and I make sure that I am forgiving. So then um, it's not that it's uh, hard for me to forgive, 
it's more that I like to keep that word. I like to keep those things in the forefront. And so that it is something that I practice. So I'm going to say that that's a tomorrow word, but it could also be a today word. But joyful, um, again, same kind of premise as forgiving. Uh, I would say I am joyful, but I um, it's a very important thing. And so I like to um, always keep that uh, as a, um, a, a word that I have to practice, make sure that it's in there. And generous is also one of those words that uh, I like to keep um, right there as a something that I'm going to be working on. It's not that it's hard to be generous or it's hard to be joyful or forgiving it, for myself. Um, what I find is I need, I want those words to be right there uh, as a constant practice. Whereas the today's words, the compassionate, the confident, I don't have to necessarily practice. They are um, so ingrained in what I, who I am that it kind of just flows. Um, forgiving, joyful, and generous are things that um, I would like it to get to that point where it is flowing and I don't have to, um, it's you know not something that has to sit in my head like and just be reminded. But for now, those are things that I, I want to be reminded of. All right, so for yourself, you're going to come up with some words. And I came up with some like, so when you're making your, when you're making your list, you want to think of things like, um, you can start off with an I am, and then start thinking of I am, and then, you know, I'm positive, I'm successful, I am valuable. I'm, you know, first of all, you're alive. So, hey, <laughs> this is awesome. So you're gonna think of those things. You can, these are just ways that you can start thinking of putting together your, your list. So I am would be a beginning of um, some sentences where you can start listing some things. Um, then you can also think of um, that, uh, what's the other one? Um, you want to think of things that you do well. So what are those things that you do that you do well? What are your strengths? Um, and then some other things would be like, what are some things that maybe you get complimented on? So that would be like, okay, um, if somebody's complimenting you. So then go ahead and write those things down. Let's identify them. And, um, and then when you're thinking about the words for tomorrow, you know, that's where, you know, that's where you're looking at, just like I did. You know, what are the things that, you know, you find difficult? Um, you could look at, um, so I, um, I developed a, a list and there's plenty, actually there's lists on the internet as well, but you can, you can be like things that you want to be more cheerful or maybe you want to be a good, good listener or, um, more confident or or compassionate. So, I mean, think of those things that that are not your strengths, um, and you're not looking at things that you're like. I'm not. You're not making a list of uh, you know what you're what you're not good at. What you're making a list at is the things that you would like to describe yourself tomorrow. After tomorrow, or you know, after today, then what would you like to start describing yourself? How? What are the additional words that you would like to describe yourself in a positive light? How would you like to describe yourself? So, the some of the um, the theory behind all of this is that, uh, strangely enough, when um, the human, uh, the human being is um, a very strange, uh, is a very strange animal. And um, one of the things that I find very strange about us is that it's um, when we hear a negative about ourselves, if somebody, even if it's not true, if somebody was to say something negative, negative to us, uh, about us, they, that particular, uh, that, that information goes into our head and it sticks. And the weird thing about it is, is that we believe those negatives so much easier than we believe a positive. So if somebody says, um, somebody says, hey, you know, you're, uh, what a good cook, what a good cook. Uh, and then somebody says, oh, you're horrible at math. 
So then all of a sudden you're in your head, you're like, you have no, it, it, it crosses out the good cook thing. And all you have in your head is like, I'm not good at math. And it's like, almost like, oh, I'm not good at math. So then, then the next thing that's funny, not so funny, is that for you to get over that, that one compliment, that one negative thing, I'm not good at math, I mean, it takes so much work to, you can't just say somebody else comes back to you and says, oh, you're good at math, or they say, hey, you're a good cook. It does not write over the information, the idea that you have in your head that you're not a good math, you're not good at math. So actually what happens is that your head has that in there and in your mind and so you're not able to actually remove it, but what you can do is, you, there's no amount of like meditation or anything else that's gonna be able to remove that thought, I can tell you, no. What you can do is you have to fill your um, work at putting positive information into, into your life until there's no more room in your head for that no, not good at math thing. So what happens is like your head, you've, you've got a little file cabinet and you know, all your files are filled with, I'm not good at math, I'm not good at math. And it's only because somebody said it one time. And then you're like, it's confirmed or you feel like it's confirmed or you know, it's a perpetual like things happen and it's like, oh, it seems like I'm not good at math. And then of course, you know, you already believe that you're not good at math. So then what happens is that little file cabinet has all this not good at math stuff. So now what you have to do is you have to be filling it in with, it's not just about the math, you need to fill in about, you know, finding what we're doing today is we're gonna find out what are the things that we're good at, what are the strengths. So now what you're gonna start doing is you're gonna start filling up your file cabinet with things that you're good at, that you know that you're good at. All right, and you're gonna be like, okay, I'm going to be, I'm good at being um, athletic. I'm good at, um, at running. I'm good at um, being joyful or insightful or um, uh, I'm confident or, you know, all of these things that you're gonna fill in your, um, your file cabinet. And then at some point down the road, it's not immediate, but what happens is like, whoop, there's no more room in your, in your file cabinet about, you know, about these things. And the, and the not good at math thing just fell out. You can't remove it, but what you can do is you can just keep on filling it until that file just falls out. There's no more room and the I'm not good at math thing just falls out. It's no longer, you may, <laughs> there may, you may actually not be good at math and that's not, the, that's not what I'm, uh, that's not what the deal is. What, what it is is like you're letting that become an identity and it's not an identity. So what you're doing is you're gonna fill in your file cabinet with all of these good things and affirmations and all these positive things and then I'm not good at math thing is just gonna fall out. So today what we're doing is we're working on the filling in or looking at words that we can start filling in our file cabinet and get rid of whatever whatever it is that's in there that's just that self-talk that you know is not making us have self-esteem whatever it is it's all, everybody's different um, and everybody has a different everybody has a different word um, and things that have um, you know are bogging them down from uh, living their best life. So today um, we're gonna do we're gonna do the glue the glue stencil and we're gonna find the words and you're gonna make the um, your glue stencil. Then um, we're also going to do we're gonna do some um, some projects where we're using the glue stencils and we're gonna be using the jelly uh, the uh, jelly mat uh, and create some artwork and we're using the words of today and then we're going to be using the words for tomorrow so one of the things here's some of this is um, so here's the word the artworks that we created and the artworks that we created 
where um, we use confident, joyful, insightful, forgiving, creative, and athletic. So when you look at these, I mean, they're very artistic and I'll pull up, uh, I'll get, pull up these other ones here. So, and inside here, so the first, the first layer of, uh, I could, let's look at this one. I think I can, um, so I can see the blue down here was the word confident and then the, up above is the word joyful. And then I can see, um, let's see here. Then this one says forgiving. And then I can see here, this is the athletic. It's now, the thing is, it's like, is that like super clear for, you know, for you? Um, probably, you know, it's not, the idea is not that you can just like boldly read these words. That's not important. What's important, I like these abstracts because, um, you know, the words are about you and it doesn't matter if anybody else can read them. Um, what you're doing is you're practicing your words and using them to, in an artful way and expressing yourself. And so, you know, the fact that you can't truly like read these outright is not a big deal. It does not, it does not stress me out. This one here that says joyful was a, the a last one that we, that I did just to show some other avenues of using this, um, this method of art, of art making. So if, um, so as you're like exploring this, then um, the other thing is just like the other idea is that each class that we do, you are gonna be learning all different kinds of methods of expression. And it's gonna have to do with life skills, but the artful expressions are also um, just, you can apply them to all different kinds of things. And this, this right here, who knows this actually could lead to a whole nother um you know fine arts and you becoming an artist you know who knows but this that's not you know i mean we're uh you can take these methods and take them anywhere and do um all kinds of whatever it is that you'd like to do uh as you're like learning this so the last thing that i wanted to um look at is is that just some examples, um, and this will be on the worksheet, is uh, I wanted to read off to you some examples of some of descriptions of uh, having, knowing that you have a strong self-esteem. So this is, knows the difference between confrontation and arrogance. All right, so you can, um, you can go very quickly into a, um, uh, into being a narcissist kind of. So it's the idea that you're, um, that, you know, you, you know everything, your self-esteem, you're like, so when somebody like, when somebody seems to be overly emphasizing, you know, their knowledge or, um, and they become arrogant about um, what they deserve and things like that, um, what actually, so they're overcompensating and the reason they're compensating is actually they're projecting and they're actually have very low self-esteem. So the arrogance and, and those kind of bad behaviors when it comes to that, you know, um, self-esteem, it's actually, um, those behaviors are actually a sign that they actually have really, really, they had inside their dialogue in their head is so low that they have to compensate by putting other people down. And um, so anyway, understanding, uh, understanding the difference between confidence and arrogance. All right, the next one is that you're not afraid to get feedback. I love getting feedback. And um, so I think that feedback is a way to have a really good conversation. And even, you know, even if it's an, you know, obviously like feedback usually as people usually are not um, quick to give you like confident or um, good feedback, 
what they're really quick to do is to is project negative and like give you like oh why i don't like you why there's a problem with it, whatever it is and what if you think of it more like an idea of hey um this is a way to have start a conversation and i'm not saying like i'm going to give bad feedback to someone else but what i'm saying is it's like when somebody else gives it to you listen and if you can um use that as an opportunity to have a discussion on whatever it is all right um the next one is people uh don't people please all right you're not here on this earth to make sure that somebody else is happy that's uh no you're here to um to make to to, to be in charge of yourself and find your own joy so don't people please it doesn't matter i mean you know the idea like making other people happy no you're here for it's it, you're here and so you need to concentrate on you everybody else needs to concentrate on themselves so all right um and uh, another one is not you're not afraid of conflict okay uh again that's conflict is and every day there's you know there's an, a place where conflict happens and um i mean this is a it takes a lot of skill to be able to uh, ride out conflict but you can look at conflict and not be afraid of it and be able to use it as a um as a communication tool you see conflict you know conflict might be coming but you can communicate your way um, through and find yourself in, in a place at the end where the conflict is less. All right, so set boundaries. Oh, this is a big one. All right, I say it's a big one because it's, um, it's something that I struggle with most of my life anyway, um, at least half of it. So then, so the boundaries. I mean, if you don't have boundaries, you don't set up the boundaries, then um, no one else is gonna set up a boundary for you. It just doesn't happen. You, you, gotta, you gotta find you know, where your values are, what, what it is, is that, that's important, and learn to say no. And um, I like the idea, like, uh, most really, truly successful people have, uh, are really good at saying no. So, hey, practice that, let's say no. All right, voicing your opinion, um, definitely, you know, once you become more confident and, uh, you'll be able to, uh, have a voice, everybody has one and you're going to learn how to use it. All right. So there's, a, um, another one is being assertive and not being pushy. Uh, yeah, being assertive is, um, just going, knowing what you want. So part of, um, a big part of life skills is to, look at and understand what it is that you want. So you've got to explore, hey, I'm going to, um, I really want this out of my life um, and get, you know, I want this um, value or I want this to come into my life. So you have to identify. You can't just say um, something blanket, like I want my life to be good Okay, we all want our life to be good, but how do you want your life to be improved? How do you want your life to be good? What is it, how, what is it that you would define your life as good? So that's it, you need to identify it. So um, then, okay, so then we got, um, you're not a slave to perfection. All right, so um, as an artist, <laughs> um, so in the video here, I did, I, um, I kept in, I made a major, one of the projects that we do today is like a major mess. And I just left it in there to show you. And it's not a big deal. This is the, um, this is the one that turns out to be like a total wreck. So um, compared to this one, you know, I feel like this one's successful. This one is just like a total mess. Now, of course, the idea, like, what I'm saying is you're not a sl slave to perfection. This can always be used for something else. So it's not, it's not trash. 
and I'm not, and I don't beat myself up if I make a mess and uh, make a mess up and make a mistake. It's like, okay, you know what? The thing that really happens is that a little bit of time got wasted, but in that time that I um, was doing the project, okay, I learned something and I just keep on going on. So slave to perfection. Um, and then, okay, nothing is a setback. Again, this is kind of the same thing. Um, doesn't fear failure. Okay, so self-esteem, a person with self, good self-esteem doesn't, uh, um, isn't fearful of failure. Um, I mean, I go about life like constantly, like failure is happening um, by me like all the time. It's all, it's all in the way you look at it too. So in art, you're like, you're doing this and you're doing this and it's like, that's not working, that's not working. And um, so I usually get, and when I'm changing into a different um, body of work, I will, um, I'll be working on and trying to figure out how the best um, to explore this particular method of what I wanna say. And so I'm like, okay, I'm making these projects. And the first couple, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, I don't know, maybe the first three or something like that or something. It, it doesn't, it's not um, because I'm trying to do a, a particular medium and trying to figure out exactly how to say it and then how, what's the best way to approach it. You know, the first um, sets of these things, it's like, it doesn't always work out. Now, those, those things are not necessarily failures. They just did not express in the way that I want to express whatever it is that I'm trying to say. So those get kind of pushed over to the side. And then what in that process, what I have learned is this is the way, this is the way that I want to say it. And there's nothing wrong with that. But in the process, I have, you know, let's just say tons of failures. No big deal. Um, kind of goes with that thing about, I, I can't remember the, the uh, real whole quote, but the idea was um, uh, the light bulb, there was like thousands of examples of what didn't work until, until the light bulb was um, invented. All right, um, and another one here is uh, don't feel inferior. So other people, when you have self-esteem, then you know you don't feel inferior, and people, um, your 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 emotions and your feelings are not hurt, or um, you're not you know you're not riding on somebody else in the way they feel about you. You are gonna feel good about you, and that's the point. That's where we're working towards. Okay, and oh hey, <laughs> look at the last one. You accept who you are. Isn't that exactly what I said? You are going to accept who you are. That's, um, so this is a list of um, the, um, all of the different ways of knowing that you have self-esteem. Yeah, you're good. So um, I will have, this will be on the worksheet. These are, these are the list of, this is the, the list that of a goal. Like these are the ways that we should all feel about ourselves and we should go about life. So I'm gonna make this on the worksheet and, um, but I just wanted to end this with, um, with you having a list of um, what makes it good, what makes good self-esteem. So I hope you really enjoy this lesson and I have, um, I have a couple more projects that we're gonna do on uh, self-esteem. We're gonna do, um, I think I'm gonna do some fabric ones and I have um, another one that's probably gonna be printmaking. But um, I hope you have a great and wonderful day and uh, you really, really uh, are able to see and project into the future of your new self-esteem and your new self-worth. All right, take care, have a great day. Thank you.